Today from Bhutan, we are cooking imadachi, which is the national dish of Bhutan. It's made with chilies, cheese, water, garlic, onions, and tomatoes, and it's a dish that they eat not just once a day, but at every single meal in Bhutan. It's very popular and you'll get it anytime you go. So I'm really excited to bring you into my kitchen and show you how to make this chili cheese dish. So to start with this recipe, we have three different kinds of peppers. So I have one red bell pepper and it's sliced into these really small slices here. I'm gonna put that in as well as one poblano pepper, also sliced very thinly, and two jalapeno peppers with the seeds removed and sliced into thin slices as well. Now, you can use whatever kind of peppers you want if you want it to be spicier. You can remove the red pepper and put in more poblano, or you can put in other kinds of peppers too to make it spicy. This dish in Bhutan is incredibly spicy. I'm choosing to make it a little bit more mild with the red peppers and you can keep it that way or you can choose to be a little bit more adventurous and add different peppers as well. I also have one onion sliced up thinly and one tomato in thin slices as well. So I'm going to put those all in this pot. I'm going to turn the heat on and I'm going to add one half cup of water. That's going to steam up all the vegetables and make them soft a half tablespoon of garlic, and two tablespoons of oil. So I'm gonna mix these all together. And then I'm gonna cover it with a lid and leave these to cook, simmer down for maybe 20-ish minutes until they're nice and tender. And then we're gonna add the cheese in after that. And now I'm gonna put the lid on and we'll come back and check it in a little bit. Bhutan is fairly difficult to visit. It has one of the most dangerous airports in the world, but it is possible, except just know that when you visit Bhutan, every foreigner has to pay $250 tariff, and that covers your hotel room and a personalized tour guide for you, and then the extra goes to the school system. So the Amadachi has been cooking on the stove for about 20 minutes. I took it off of the flame and now we're gonna add the cheese. So I have three different kinds of cheese. Again, like I mentioned last week, normally the cheese that you use in these kind of recipes is yak cheese. Again, still don't have yak cheese, still don't live near any yaks. So instead I have cheddar cheese, feta cheese, and farmer's cheese. So what we're gonna do is take the Amadachi off of the stove you don't wanna leave it over the flame because when you add cheese to the boiling water, sometimes it's too hot and it'll coagulate and your cheese will get really lumpy and we don't want that, we want it to be creamy. So I'm going to add my two ounces of feta cheese, my two ounces of cheddar cheese, and my four ounces of farmer's cheese. So put that in here. And then I'm gonna mix it all up. Now actually farmer's cheese is actually known for not dissolving in water. So that might stay a little bit lumpy and, and that's okay, but it'll turn the rest of the cheese, the cheddar and the feta will turn into a nice creamy cheese sauce that mixes with the water and the juice released from the tomatoes in the bottom of here. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna put the lid on it for a couple minutes just so that it can get nice and melty. And in a couple minutes we'll have a really nice cheese sauce too. Bhutan is actually the only country in the world that actually chooses to have traffic guards instead of traffic lights. Okay, so the cheese has melted and now it has a really beautiful cheese sauce in these chilies. Every Amadachi in Bhutan is a little bit different because every chef has a little bit of a different recipe. Sometimes they're a little bit more watery, sometimes they're a little bit creamier, but they're served all over the country. So I'm gonna scoop some of this into my serving bowl. Okay, now in Bhutan, they eat with their hands. And again, I forgot my spoon, so I'm gonna try eating this with my hands because that's what they do there. Again, you can only eat with your right hand, not with your left, so I'm gonna try scooping it up. And it's good, you guys, and I really think you should try it. It's delicious, it's vegetarian, so it's a good, a good vegetarian meal and it's really easy to put together. Um, if you want the recipe, you can head on over to the Foreign Fork to see the recipe. It's 
foreignfork.com under Bhutan. Thanks and I'll see you next week. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.